Before I start this video the way I usually started, I am currently sick. Like my eyes are starting to water, but like my nose, I can hardly breathe out of them right now. <laughs> I keep sneezing. I just, my head hurts. I just need to sleep, but I also need to read. It's a battle. I'm like warm, even though when I take off my sweater, I'm cold. Life of being sick sucks. Let's move on to today's video. Welcome to my video. My name's Donna. <laughs> so there's your intro. Today I'm doing my February wrap up video. So stay tuned. Uh, it could be a long video, to be honest, uh, with all the stats I've written down and like, I looked at it and I'm like, do I even want to say all this stuff right now while I'm sick? Uh, so I'm just gonna go off of it. If I'm reading on my computer, you'll understand. I just don't have the mental compatibility to focus and know what I'm saying today. So you're going to enjoy this video of my wrap up where I'm getting down to whatever I had in February while being sick. Yay. <laughs> to start off this video, I have read 11 books in February. I read about 2,933 pages. Uh, how? Don't know. I have had zero DNFs. Six were physical with audiobook because um, I have a hard time just reading normal like physical books without audio. So there's that. I also have four ebooks. Who am I? I don't read ebooks. And I had one audiobook. So we're going to start off with like everything that I did for like challenges and everything else before I get into everything else. First one I have on here is my buzzword challenge. The challenge for February was, what was it? Positive happy words, which was Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. Uh, it is an owl crate copy. It is stunning. It's a stunning copy. So this book is about a witch cursed to never love uh, meets a girl hiding her own dangerous magic and the two strike a dangerous bargain to save their queendom. It sounds so freaking good until you hear the audiobook and the narrators sound so robotic that you just want to DNF this book. I think what made me keep going is the storyline other than the, I don't know, halfway through to the end or maybe more to the end of the book. I just started not caring about the story, but the beginning, the storyline was good. So between that um, and the narrators, I gave this three stars. So it wasn't the full like two, one or DNF. But those narrators, if I wanted robots to speak to me, I'd read sci-fi. This is not sci-fi. This is fantasy. So, sad, but I'm giving this to my daughter. So, I hope she likes it instead. I feel sorry of breath already. The next one is my self-destruct in six months. And if I've read this book for February that I've placed here, and I did. I did. I read Pride by Ibi Zaboy. I believe that's how you say her name. This is another Owl Crate version of this copy. This is a slow burning love story between Zuri and Darius who are clearly attracted to each other but have to get out of their own way in order to be together. I mean it sounds cute and I was like 
so happy to finish this book being I've had this on my shelf since it came out which was 2018 so I'm very happy I got to read this and that I tried once before and I just could not get into it at the time so glad I finished it however like I know what the author was trying to get at and I love this idea I just did not care for many or to all of these characters I also um felt like everything was everywhere in this book I gave this a two star it's just not for me <laughs> I will also probably give this one to my daughter as well uh, most of my books are given to my daughter unless otherwise the next one is my 12 books from 12 friends series that I was doing I'm really needing to do this this year I fail every single year so I'm happy to say that I have read this month's book from one of my friends I did not write down which friend told me to read this one so maybe I'll add it here for their name because I I can't remember so I read once upon a broken heart oh my god my brain mm -mm. anyways by Stephanie Garber and I did tab and annotate it there is a vlog I just posted if you want to watch it and kind of know my thoughts about it more than here uh, I don't go into any spoiler moments because I try not to spoil for people for as long as she can remember Evangeline Fox has believed in true love and happy endings until she learns that the love of her life will marry another desperate to stop the wedding and heal her wounded heart Evangeline strikes a deal with the charismatic but wicked Prince of Hearts. Oh my god, I love this. All I have to say is that I loved and adored this book. It has made me happy. I love the nickname Little Fox now. And every time I hear Little Fox from somewhere else, aka there is an audiobook I'm listening to, and the guy calls this girl Little Fox, and I'm like, oh my god, Jax. I gave this a 4.5 stars. I'm really, really thinking I'm moving it to a 5 star now, though. I think I will, actually, to be honest. I have, in this video, record video, I'm moving this book to 5 stars. No more 4.5. It is now a 5 star book. A 5 star read. Also, this is an Owl Creek version uh of this book so now we're going to get into the tbr jar prompts i realized i didn't do this in my last wrap up and i'm so sorry but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try my best to go forward with this which books were for what and if i have read them and everything else so let's begin i am so not feeling good <laughs> Prompt one was Buddy Read. Obviously, I did read that. It was the Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I did read that book. It has been read. Prompt one has been read. Next prompt, contemporary book. And that was To Be Honest, which follows Savannah, who's dealing with her sister's departure for college, her mother's obsession with her weight, and the cute new boy at school. I have read this book. I thought it was going to be a really good book because the main character is a plus size character and I love reading about other plus size women, especially ones that have kind of like the upbeat, yes, this is my body, you know, take it or leave it type thing because, uh, I may not look it, but I do have somewhat of a plus size body and I need these types of books in my life. However, the fact that this book did not succeed on the plus size, she technically 
is okay with her body and that's great. However, it doesn't touch base on so much of that. It touches base more on her sister going to college, how she's alone from that, and her mom dealing with more as her weight and the fact that she needs to be skinny all the time and pushing her daughter all the time about it, uh, which I feel obviously is wrong and needs to stop, to be honest. But I un also understand what that's all about because that is what I've technically gone through, uh, not more or less like with family members, but with like society and growing up to, you know, top model, you have to be skinny and like every commercial is you have a skinny woman on it. And it's like, that's what I grew up on. So I have the mindset of I have to be skinny. And yeah, so I understood that. But the other thing that I, I didn't care for was the fact that like in school, she had this like newspaper thing that she was doing. So like you have the mother, the sister, and then this, and then a boy. And it just, it felt so much like you put too much in this book. Like you could have just set it on more or less Technically, as the title says, to be honest, because I don't think she was quite honest in this book with herself nor with other people. And I wish she was. I did give this a three stars and that was mainly because I understood the whole uh, like obsession with the weight loss. Um, and I did cry over the bit with her mom and what happened with her mom. I also resembled the fact of how her dad treated her and it felt the same way with my father. So <laughs> there was just some similarities that made me go, okay, I see you. <laughs> the next prompt, so prompt three was a uh, books book starting with the word the, which I chose the place between breaths by Anya Anya I think uh this is I literally hit myself in the glasses don't worry about it <laughs> this is a girl desperately determined to find a cure for the illness that swept her mother away and could possibly destroy her own life as well I did not read this one <laughs> Um, yeah, I did not get to this one and I'm not sad about it. To be honest, it is short and I do plan to read it at some point. It's just right now it's not the right time. The last prompt was genre mystery and I chose, what did I choose? What? <laughs> Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, I did also tab and annotate this, which means, yes, I have read this book. It is the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper. Bizarre murders are discovered in the castle of Prince Vlad the Impaler, otherwise known as Dracula. Could it be a copycat killer or has the depraved prince been brought back to life? And, like, I mean, that sounds really good. As I said, I ran, read it and I annotated, I tabbed it, you know, I adored this book. Not as much as the first one. The first one I gave five stars. This one I gave four stars. But, like, I loved learning more about the castle, the Vlad or Dracula. Um, and, oh my god, Audrey and Thomas. I love their freaking chemistry, okay? <laughs> okay, so the last book I'm gonna show you, it's a physical one, and I figured I'd get to it before I get to the non-physical. Uh, the last book I read wasn't really for anything, to be honest. I uh, randomly seen it on TikTok due to Ghostface, but we're not even gonna go there. Um, anyways, uh, so I just, I had to get it and actually 
physically get it. I was reading it on my phone and then uh, the book came out and I just had to get it with this cover. But I end up getting Kept in the Dark by Crystal J. Johnson and Felicity Veng... I'm not even going to say that last name. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But this is this is the cover and I, I adore it. Anyways, I read this with my husband. Um, we kind of made it like a little like bedtime, bedtime read for us. Uh, we both adored it to the point we gave it four stars. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited and happy to own this book. I also forgot to mention what this book was about. Uh, one night of fun has led to a series of alarming letters from a stalker, and Vi is placed under the watchful eye of her smoking hot bodyguard, Grayson. But despite all the precautions taken to her to keep her safe, they are not enough to keep away the mask, masked stranger who finds his way into her room every night. I mean... <sighs> What else can I say? So we are moved on now to my ebooks alone. Just, well, ebooks and audiobook, I should say. I randomly joined the Hosen Pros. Is it called Ho Hosen Pros for their smutty weekend that they had in February? So thank you so much, Vanessa, Bree, and Nikki, to host this wonderful weekend that I had. I mean, it was so much fun. So the books that I read, I will make sure that the photo is over here uh, of each book I read, but let's get into it. My first book is, I love the cover of this book actually. First book is called Taking Her Turn. The story is about Kingsley and Mina. They're newlyweds. He's always in control, afraid he'll hurt her, so their sex has always been soft and sweet, except for the one time he came home after he went out of town and lost his control. Yes, she loves it, but she doesn't like him to hold back. So this was like a really good book. However, I've only given it three stars. By meaning good, it, I mean like I love obviously the sexual parts and who doesn't but also I did love their connection between each other so that kind of helped the story go along what I did not like was the story could have gone more for one I know it was a novella but you know uh but the ending sucked okay I don't care for the ending I did not care for it. The next one was Seducing My Guardian. I really wish the cover was better. I don't care for this cover, to be honest. But Vanessa read this. She liked it. I liked it to the point where like, I gave it four stars, not a five star. That's what I mean. So on the night my parents die, I meet a sexy stranger who tells me he's my new guardian. Before I can as much as blink, he ships me off to boarding school and then ignores me for three years until he shows up on my 19th birthday to save me from myself. I mean, that's very vague on what this book is about, to be honest. But I'm over here like while reading this book to the point I even told my husband that he needs to read this book for some pointers okay I even gave him the wink wink which I would do wink wink but I'm so sick it'd probably look gross to, <laughs> to do a wink wink right now and the last book that I read here was called Big Boss thank you Nikki Nessa and Brie for making me read this disastrous of a book <laughs> but I gotta I gotta laugh out of it. Big Boss is a short and steamy insta love story starring a burly older man and a shy student with a plus size crush. Again very vague on to 
what I found of like a short summary of this. All I can think of when I think of this book is Flip in Brie right now. Oh, I love this. <laughs> big boy! <laughs> yeah, that's all I thought of. The whole big boys, okay? Thank you, Brie. Credit to Brie on saying big boys as the video showed. Yeah, I gave this two stars. I don't actually remember much about this book, to be honest. The last two books I'm going to talk about are from my video, my vlog I did. I will link all these down below, just so you know. Uh, this vlog was where Everand, aka Scribd, had put me on a date with a couple of books and so I chose these two to read. So the first one is called A Vampire Bewitched. It is a spicy adult uh, paranormal romance full of action and suspense and maybe even a few Scottish werewolf shifters. It also features a possessive protective hero and the strong heroine who steals his heart. So technically it has to do with a vampire, a witch, some Scottish werewolves, the mean character uh, feeling like it's Amarantha from Akatar. But again, you can watch my video for more information on how I felt about this book. Shameless plug. I gave this three stars. There are some questionable things in this book. <laughs> You'll have to watch my video to find out. The next book I'm excited for, okay. <laughs> the next book is Tempt Me. Uh, I also realized I did not put the author's names on here, so I'm very sorry. But you can see them on the photo, I hope. This one has to do with a lone wolf with a past. Killian always kept to himself, especially after the tragic deaths of his father and brother. But then he met Whitney, a woman who is sunshine to his storm clouds, light to his darkness. She's everything he's ever wanted and everything he can never have. I absolutely loved listening to this book, okay? Absolutely loved it. It actually had a plot, is what I'm meaning. And, um, a really, really smexy hitman. I mean, <laughs> uh, I gave this four stars. Obviously, it wasn't a five, but I gave it four stars. And I am just, I still am thinking of this book, actually, while I'm, like, I'm talking right now. And I could image some of the things in this book. And I'm, I'm happy. Now, I will be ending this video with my readathon uh, wrap up. I'm just going to show you the readathon board because I'm just not feeling good. I've already talked about said books that are in this board. So this is the board. I did, I think, only have three that were not checked off. So I feel I did really good for readathon February and I cannot wait for the next one, which I believe is in May. Oh, my head. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm hurting. I'm sick. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you've read any of these or what you read or like what was your favorite book or if you feel like you've read a book and you think I might like that book let me know or just do any emoji any emoji will work i'm not picky i'm gonna go and eat my tim hortons that my husband brought for me and uh, <clears throat> lose my voice and i will see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.